guys nice to be back and uh, i hope you were able to watch um the ombre uh tutorial that i just recently made and i've done that um in a hurry so the quality wasn't that good but i tried to uh, at least put it up at, up to 640p not the usual uh, 200, uh 240p um resolution so at least it was a little bit clearer um, anyway, been here um, and um, it's raining really hard um, this week. Week and um, we've been flooded and it's just a catastrophe. It's just been a nightmare. It, it's not a it's not a typhoon. It's just a low pressure area they call, it, but it's been flooding the whole um, city and. Uh, yeah, so decided to do a video and um, hopefully to make things lighter for me, right? Because I couldn't really go out, I couldn't really go anywhere. There's no nothing to do actually. Um, it can I couldn't actually clean. Our, our roof flew off, so um, the whole house has been dripping wet. So yeah, we just stack up everything over each other just to prevent them to uh, get further damage so anyway uh, enough for the, of the uh, bad news um, at least I can um, if you're still at home and you can't go anywhere maybe you'll be able to enjoy watching my, my whole video right so yeah so as I've said this is a whole video and these are the stuff that I've uh, been buying around and uh, been saving up on for my kit because as you all know that I'm going through uh, professional makeup school and um, I've, been, I've been saving saving up the money to go uh, to that school and I've been wanting to go there since I was uh, in high school so yeah just just this year that I'm trying to accomplish everything um, I'm planning to go uh, a step further to get advanced to study for advanced uh, makeup uh, professional makeup um, and I'm planning to go to makeup forever but I'm having a hard time especially after this um weather um money's just flying everywhere and uh i'm not sure if i'm able to go to class this um august because start this the schedule for makeup forever advanced makeup um would start in a week so i'm not sure if i'm able to come up with that amount of money so anyway if i'm unable to um go to that school set but of course i'm sure there's uh, more chances for me to go I'm just gonna keep on saving up then right so it's just a matter of time so anyway um, I'm not yet done with uh, my class yet so it, um, I'm still actually realizing now that it's not really easy to go to makeup school it's not something that um, you just do for a hobby um, it's not something that you uh, push yourself to go to and just back out in the middle of everything you just a lot of things are involved effort um, um, your time um, there's a lot of opportunity opening up um, as I've said before if I have not mentioned I've been doing makeup for since I was in college freelance makeup it's not something regular but the first ever uh, makeup job that I did was um, for a bunch of uh, girls dancers that um, there's this like type of club um, like I don't know it's like you know I've never been there I just do their makeup in their dorm there's like a dorm and there's a bunch of girls working on the same um, um, bar type and I just do their makeup and they just pay me that time 12 years ago a dollar each and I'm doing 12 girls um, every day so I was really earning a lot because um, that would be say that would be twelve dollars right so that's an, an extra and at the time the money that I was getting for school was only three dollars and that would cover everything from the food expenses um, whatever I need to go to school and there's still extra and then I'm getting like six times more just doing the side job at night and I accomplished that um, within two hours so it's like speed makeup and it's full makeup and then it's really avant-garde and cabaret uh, inspired look so yeah so yeah it's just I really like what I'm doing right now so um, I hope everything goes my way anyway so if not then 
I'm still gonna try because <laughs> I'm not gonna stop. But yeah, so let me show you what I got um, um, for my kit. Um, I mostly got foundations because that's what I run into, um, run out of most of the time because of course um, that's what I actually um, tend to um, consume my time on is the, the base. So you can consume a bottle of, of foundation and uh, it's very very quick so this is what I'm trying to build my kit on so let me start with this one and I'm show you why it costs a lot of money because you actually need to um, not just buy one shade you need to buy a couple more shades because not everyone has the same shape it doesn't mean that um, she looks beige it says she's really beige most of the girls that I've um, uh, worked with recently had had pink undertones and most of the, the ones that I've got in my kit is yellow or neutral undertones sometimes they're too pink first four I've got cover girl true blend for three four five and six okay, I couldn't get my hands on one and two which is the lightest of the four LA colors liquid makeup I've got natural um, creamy beige and deep beige so this is the order of the colors new true blend with foundation which I love to use on uh, girls with a little bit oily skin uh, L'Oreal true match and this is in the shade C2 this is the lightest that I can grab my hands off and this one is like way way lighter like almost white if I, if I can find the C1 if I can find that anywhere I would definitely buy it like I couldn't find it in the stores LA colors in I've got four shades of these, two of, two of which is in my kit already. LA Colors Minerals um, Press Powder. This is really nice. This is really nice um, for retouching, especially, and for finishing. Try it. It's nice. And it's really cheap, too. Four loose powders from LA Colors as well. I've got four shades. Two is in my kit already. Nichido Bronzing um, Powder. Here you go. the fine shimmers hope you can see that elf makeup um, lock and seal and bronzers from L'Oreal to match and we've got four shades I like this this is um, Smashbox photo finish um, primer and I've seen um, a lot of cosmetics and it includes like seven items uh, and it includes this kit this is this uh, booty parlor um, flirty little favorites kit and it includes pink caviar scrub body butter and perfume oil just the perfume oil and they include pheromones for um, yeah pheromones like, attract the um, opposite opposite sex and gives you a boost like a sex appeal so I tried it and it works at least it works like twice so I'm not gonna tell you sorry how how I said how I said it works or how I prove it works but it works for it. so if you single ladies looking for someone special you might as well try pheromones not specifically this brand but pheromones just try to research it pheromones Okay, so that's the first one in the kit, and the second item I've got is this um, Slim Eyelash Curler from Cherry Moya Nail Polish Remover Pads. It's Cherry, Mo Cherry Moya Lip Polish. This is a Lime Prime uh, lipstick, and this is the Retro, Retro Futurist, which is a red shade. The Lime Prime Carousel. Uh, lip gloss and this is in the shade cherry on it's really really pigmented and there's a lot of shine and sparkles into it so and she gave me this deluxe sample kit from the booty parlor the one with the pheromones and it includes some naughty stuff inside i want to show you it's three sample sachets here 
The first one is massage oil. The other one is little flirty little secret bronze firming bronzer with pheromones. So it's not just firms you, it also has pheromones. And the last one is add magic blue. So I'm not sure when I'm gonna try these but this will definitely be handy so for adults only <laughs> And she also sent me another bunch of um, items here. This is from her. It's a lot of samples here from Sugar Pill, Philosophy, Coastal Scents, Sephora, Eyeshadows, Core um, mm, Minimizers. Sugar pill sticker. How cute is that? Um, I've got this blotting paper. Still has a price tag on it. So. My couture lavender oil blotting paper. Very handy for your purse. Urban Decay Chic Tint in very cute color pink. Urban Decay Stardust Eyeshadow Samples Benefit Hula Bronzer Very famous Hula Bronzer uh, Thermologica mm -hmm. mm, Body Cream And EOS Shave Cream Which is very handy Gwen, if you're watching, thank you very much for the stuff that you gave me. This is too much. This, I'm really happy that you um, included this. If you guys are interested in seeing her shop, I'm going to link her um, account on the description box as usual, like before. And yeah, moving on. I found this lot online and I, I got it for $80. It includes a lot of sample size stuff that... I found really useful so we we'll start with this one that I it includes this one Clinique um, makeup remover it's lab series um, multi-action face wash for men a two of these philosophy sample size this pink one is um, perfume shampoo which I've been using to wash my, my uh, face brushes and it's really nice it smells really good and it's soft soft as the bristles as well and this small one I haven't tried yet. This is called the um, Foaming Bath and Shower Cream. The Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash. Clinique uh, Super Defense SPF 25. And this is an Age Defense Moisturizer. Estee Lauder Soft Clean Tender Cream. Estee Lauder um, Nutritious Vita Mineral Loose Powder. Intensity 2.0 The Estee Lauder um, Lipsticks The first one here is Ripe Papaya Pink Parfait This one is Wildly Pink Shimmer Which is a hot pink shimmer Deborah Lipman um, lavender nail lacquer remover. It's two eyeliners. This one is Clinique one. Quick liner for eyes, and this is um, automatic. Another Clinique one, and this is um, Clinique cream shaper for eyes, and this is in black diamond. I'm gonna swatch it for you. Very creamy and smudgy. Got a Clinique lipstick in the shade of a different grape. Here, a Clinique Long Last Gloss Wear, and this is in the shade of Fireberry lip gloss. I bought some Maybelline color tattoos, painted purple, tenacious teal, edgy emerald, and I've got. Two of the 
such audacious asphalt, which I got accidentally. I've also got this NYC color wheel, we'll say face powder, which I broke, but I managed to put together by pressing. It's really, really pigmented. I use this as um, an eyeshadow for one girl. Um, and it's just like a bronze goddess look if you, if you use like these includes like four colors so it looks like a bronzer it, it is a, a bronzer but I, I it acts like a big big um, eyeshadow palette so that's a good deal for this one very pigmented two of the Calvin Klein lip glosses Sephora Glitter eye base for paint palettes. Victoria's Secret perfume. And this is called Bombshell. It smells really nice. Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush lip gloss. And this is Spicy Apple. I have three lipsticks from Models Own, which I've been eyeing for a while. Um, unforgettable moments. This is an eyeshadow and eyeliner palette. And Zoe and Zach Naturals. And this is lip palette and eyeshadow palette in one. Zoe and Zach Naturals lip shimmers. Two perfect white bases from uh, Guerlain. Guerlain, whichever you want to pronounce it. Nail polishes from Clean Colors. One is the matte. Um, madly matte, matte finisher, and this one is like uh, called um, Chunky Halo Teal. Sally Hansen. In this Sally Hansen one, I got as a free one for, um, when I bought just recently my Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs uh, leg makeup because I always use that. I get flawless legs in HD nail polish. This one is from Revlon. It's like a, a holographic green, yellow, and coral polish. It's Malaya Mineral Makeup in Almond. One I wanted to mention, especially um, Bio Pure from Biotherm. It's a gel exfoliant that I've been using this, and it's excellent. Um, I've been using Maxi Peel. Um, for a week and it's not acting up it's not it's not making my skin peel and i've got a lot of blemishes and scars on my face that i wanted to lighten up and my sister recommended that i use this one so i've been using this and i'm really frustrated that it's not really peeling so when i got these i tried this after using this one for a week and it immediately exfoliated and like patches of skin were falling off my face and um a new uh, batch of skin shiny and pinkish really really weird when like I got scared when I when I after I tried this because I was scrubbing and after I rinsed my skin felt really really smooth and yeah so I got a little bit uh, smoother texture after like two weeks of using both of these so I'm gonna continue on using them and um, hopefully that was helpful if you're looking into exfoliating um better try that one exfoliating cream i've got some max stuff and a train case i'm sure you've seen this if you're following me on twitter or facebook got this train case and it comes with lights couldn't open it and show you but it comes like this and it you can plug it and there's like a box in the middle which you can remove it's like a velcro and it has a clear glass um, and you can fit most foundations inside and you can lock it and then you can leave this at home if you don't want to bring it and just bring the suitcase and then immediately and then you have an instant light um, for your um, 
for your girls that you're doing makeup on you just plug it in and the lights really bright and white so I bought this for around 3500 so that will be around $90 $80-90 and this one is also secure it's, it has this um, lining inside which you can move around you can move it up or you can remove one or you can just make them all cross or you can just completely take everything off depends on you and I've also got um, just recently from a Facebook friend she's been selling these well I ended up paying more actually when I got these these are Mac face and body foundations um, and she um, she lives in the US and she's going to the Philippines she actually uh, came home so she was selling stuff and then she's bringing them back home here in the Philippines so I ordered a couple stuff I got two face and body foundations it's huge four ounces and as I said I ended up paying more because she charged she charged me with another 8% tax plus the markup this, I believe this is like $24 but I think I believe I paid uh, around $32 each so what I did was I just chose the colors that were not available here locally so um, however this one is available here but ne never mind I bought it already this is N1 it's the color of N1 which means N neutral one and this was N7 which is a little bit lighter than me but can also work for me and these are very light coverage and they have a really shiny dewy finish on them but works well um, if you want to powder it it will go well if you if you're looking for a full coverage one you might want to use concealer underneath and for this one these ones are the ones that I'm really happy I got because these shades are not available here NW58 it looks like chocolate right it's really really dark and pigmented and the other shade I got is this NC15 which is very light so I mixed the two together to get an, uh, a couple other shades but it doesn't always work for every skin tone because the NW58 is really pink so even if you add a lighter shade um, it's gonna be uh, pinkish so if your client is a little bit yellow it's not gonna work for her but you can try to mix it with the um, face and body if you want to lighten up a little bit I've tried that and they mix well although the face, face and body is water based it still mix well with uh, the fixed fluid yeah and for this one I didn't really realize that it was this small so I'm not sure how long it will last yeah but I'm excited to try it out anyway so, and um I wanted to show you this this is called TikTok Kala, Kal, Kalani lip color what color is this one spritz for hygiene reasons alcohol sanitize my eyeshadows and lip colors it's my first ever human um, eyelashes from Miss Adoro and I just got one just to try it out and um, I think they're really really nice um, and I think I'm gonna try to get more if I can but it's not available in the Philippines so yeah too bad too bad so that sums up my um, whole uh, video and I hope you didn't get bored and um, if you stick up to the end I'm really thankful that you did and uh, yeah just stay positive like me I just it's really hard but you know what can we do right it's just gonna cry it's not gonna go away so yeah if there's anything that you've seen in the whole um, that I did um, any particular item that you want to um, know about or you want to see, you just watch this um, with, just 
comment down below. I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Just be a little bit patient because I'm going to school and you know um, working as well. So yeah, hope you guys have a great day. Bye.